Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Endoparasitic. This game is about $8 and the link is in the description if you want to check it out, but it's a survival horror game with a lot of kind of tactile mechanics. And we're going to talk about what that even means, but it's a really, really cool game. I'm going to put a content warning on this one because it is fairly violent, but um, I've been really enjoying it. I played this one on stream and we had a lot of fun kind of puzzling out some of the mechanics as well as like where to go and how to, how to play the game optimally, but let's, let's have a look at it. I kind of really appreciate how minimal some of that story is. Oh man. Okay, so we are a torso with one arm and We've gone ahead and uh, taken care of, quotation marks, our main issue, which is not dying. How? I don't know. Not sure. The real problem is that we are on a space station infested with uh, monsters. And not only that, but we are also infested with something rather vile, some kind of weird parasite. And the only way to keep it at bay, keep it from uh, entering our brain and killing us is by injecting it with vaccines every once in a while. So that's kind of like a this ticking time limit that is always going off. There is um, kind of little story snippets peppered all over the space station. We're going to, I'm gonna be skipping them for now and kind of focusing on mechanics. We have a lock pick mechanic and you know, you, you're always gonna judge a game by how clever its lock pick mechanic is but this one is pretty tame now the trick is is that imagine basically doing that when you are being chased down by a monster it does not pause time it in fact um is just something you're gonna have to panic press while you're being chased down. Um, this kind of fog of war is a really interesting little touch to this game because it looks eerily similar to some of the monsters we're gonna be fighting. It serves to basically make you slow your pace a little bit. You can definitely speed run this game. In fact, I've heard um, people have beaten this game in like two minutes. Once you get the hang of this like arm movement, um, you can get you can be really fast about it and you're gonna want to be fast when you're being chased down by other monsters. Sometimes you're gonna want to slow things down a little bit because uh, if you're playing a level for the first time ever, you're, you're not necessarily gonna know exactly where every monster is. That coughing is, is it gets me every time. It's like, oh no, dude. Are you okay? Are you are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I'm not really sure, honestly, what uh, happened on the station, but from what I can tell, it was infested with this weird parasite that seems to be trillions of years old, like older than the universe. And there's our first monster. I almost walked right into him. He hasn't seemed to notice me yet, but I'm pretty sure that monster is given a lot of flexibility, a lot of forgiveness. So just to kind of spook you and, and make you realize, oh man, there's, oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh no. Oh no, definitely what we're going to want to do is uh, kind of kite this guy over here and then just kind of lose him in, in amidst all of these desks. We're going to need what to hit that button that was behind him as well as get some of the extra loot that he was guarding. Oh God. Oh, oh man. It spooks me every time. It really does. There's something like very creepy about these things. The little hairy bodies and crab arm. Just want to make sure there's nothing over here. Doesn't look like it. I don't want to walk right into them. I almost did anyway. We're, we're off. We're out. So there's our first gun. We're definitely going to want that. And then I'll show off some of the kind of tactile mechanics of this game. You could definitely play this game stealth, although I don't know if there's a lot of forgiveness when it comes to the creature's ability to sense you. They, they seem to know right away, although I, I tend to not be very good at stealth games, and apparently I'm also not very good at lockpicking games, but there it is. Um, let's check our, our parasite, they're okay. Whenever you take damage, by the way, get hit by a monster or of any kind, that parasite comes closer to your brain, so it is serving as your health bar. Okay, oh, so save point, very good. Oh God, yeah, okay, yep, that's that's awful. Okay, so here's here's our maybe our first um, taste of uh, panic. Uh, maybe something I'm not a huge fan of is that I have to use the X button on the top left corner to escape some of those interfaces. I do wish that it was maybe a button press or just a right click or something. Man, I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at this. 
Come on. Come here, friend. It's okay. Do you want my tasty flesh? Yummy. All right, go, 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 go. All right, do it properly this time. No, I don't like that. That's not correct. There we go. All right, we can close this. this that's, that's a little bit of forgiveness for us. All right, so we've got our first gun. We right click while we're hovering over it to equip it. While you have the gun equipped, you cannot move anymore. So you can either shoot or move, not both. Also, we have reloading mechanics. We have to reload each shell one by one. This is something you're gonna do while you're panicking, while a creature is descending upon you, and it's going to be kind of terrifying, but you will get used to it. Then we are using the arm to shoot creatures. Um, it takes four shots to bring down those big guys, at least for now. Once you've spent bullets, you're also gonna have to pull the casings out. This is something you're gonna definitely want to do when you're in a safe space, because dang, you're not gonna wanna have to do that while you're panic firing. If you're wondering how this lock picking mechanic works, it's basically just memory and I'm like really, really bad at these games. So I, most of the time I, I actually get it, it's, it's just luck. If I bring up the inventory while my hand is empty, the gun is not gonna be uh, represented here at all. Do not wanna have to kill another crab lad. Don't underestimate these guys, by the way. If you get stuck in a situation, um, you're definitely gonna get Pretty sure you can stealth a little bit. Oh God. All right. Oh God, oh God. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Uh, yeah. You know, if you die, it's fine. You don't lose anything. There's no permadeath. This isn't a roguelite, which is nice. It's kind of nice to play a game that's just a game and not meant to be replayed like 10 bajillion times. No shade thrown, but you know. Hey, I wonder, can we, get you guys hemmed in here you know I've made a mistake actually that was a mistake that was a mistake though yo that was that was that was a bad oh my god okay just kill me I should probably just kill one of these lads but you know like they're my friends they're really the only friends I have no no real point in killing them unless I have to then I would have no one I would have absolutely no one all right we're gonna kill these lads I'm sick of them Actually, never mind, we're not gonna kill them. I don't like how juicy the syringes sound. They're just they're just too juicy sounding. Okay, right, I forgot about this level. This is the level where there's just a lot of them. <laughs> there's just a lot of them. Oh yes, and we are introduced to possibly the worst enemy ever conceived, which is these little squeakers. I think they are genuinely called sque squeakers and they are awful. You can hear them. You can see them. They're, they're super fast. And as soon as they hit you, they run away. So you, you have like a split second to uh, pull your gun out. They do when you hear them squeak. Ugh. That means that they're actually, they, they take a second to notice you. You can get a free shot off on them before they run at you. That's if you know they're there. And you, the, the sound design in this game is actually pretty effective for conveying where an enemy is. All right, let's, let's get rid of you, lad. I don't wanna, oh God. Okay, amp, get rid of all the things. I think we only need one more. There we go. We save the game and we are given just a buttload of bullets. That is the technical term for the amount of ammo we were just given. Those guys are, are doing a bad job of noticing me. Okay, we have enough for one more kill. Oh, I missed a shot. Oh, apparently that guy only took two shots. You don't have to click anything, by the way, to pick up ammo or items. You just have to hover your hand over it. It's a nice little feature. Can't tell. Are you alive, buddy? I'm still hearing more. Um... Still can't, I think the thing is breathing, so I think it is alive. Could just be like the physics of the body. You are alive. Oh God, I always knew it. I always knew it. You weren't fooling anybody. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to fully reload the gun every time, by the way. Um, something I really appreciate is just that small indicator that tells you what bullet the chamber is on so you know which shot is coming up. Oh, I, I remember struggling a lot on this level, actually. The fact that I've used as many vaccines as I have, it's kind of an indicator of this, this level just kind of ruining my day. 
Oh god. Alright buddy. Come on over here. Come on crab friend. Alright, now, goodbye. Oh god. We got more squeakers, we got more of these shufflers. Oh, okay, did I not reload? Yo! Yo! Alright, here we go, here we go. Picked up the shotgun, not enough inventory space. So this is where things get interesting. You're gonna have to choose, choose. You're gonna have to choose between um, revolver bullets or shotgun shells. And I'm pretty sure there's more weapon types than this. So it might be that things get even more complex later on. Definitely you're gonna wanna conserve enough space for at least one shotgun shell. We have to hover over the specific weapon we want and oh God, oh God, he's ruined it, he's ruined it. One, one, one shot. One shot, one kill. We're, we're dying. We're dying, Squirtle. Chat was telling me the revolver could be exclusively used for squeakers and then the uh, shotgun is reserved for shufflers. So that's gonna do it for Endoparasitic. A really, really cool game. A, a really interesting kind of physics-y concept for a game. Very well executed. It really works as a survival horror as, a, as part of the genre. Have you played Endoparasitic? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. Endoparasitic, $8, and you can find it in the description. Take it easy, I'll see you guys next time.